Masters riders were two minutes out, two minutes out to your podium, right across the street from our announcing stage. Talking our top three and our Omnium overall. To the podium, please. Big thank you to Bicycles of Tulsa, donating many dollars over to three days for a preem. So we're going to be ringing a bell right now. This is an official $100, a winner of the lap. $100 preem, $100 preem. $100 preem for the winner of the lap. A couple splits starting to form in their group. A little bit of gaps are opening up. More importantly, $100 to whoever can cross that finish line first next lap. Abraham to the podium, please. Emil, we are ready for you for our Masters Men's 40 plus A podium. Looking for Emil Abraham. Back to the podium, please. getting away here call it three little jump to the line and Aiden White gonna hold on to that one to pick up a hundred dollars cash nice job out there Aiden
from group rolling back through three rodders going clear field taking this one very seriously though they are worried about these three guys they're going to try and reel this one back in big effort on the front through the line right here from 436 setting tempo up the front of the field that'll be austin del rosso winner of stage number one dangerous guy to be on the front of this field we won our first night here at Tulsa. Had a rough night last night, and he'll be looking for a little better result today. Del Rosso going to be a major player in this one. top of crybaby hill right now they're gonna work their way back down as these cat threes continue to try to get a group off the front that'll be a big part of this race today is trying to get the early split formed together just over 10 minutes in to our 45 minute category three race a couple teammates taking a look on the front trying to get organized up there there's del rosso back to the front here austin del rosso not only winning on friday night but soloing to the win on friday night so Clearly a good long-range attacker here. This should be right up his alley on Crybaby Hill. Just about ready for our Masters Men's 40 Plus Podium. We'll give a one minute warning to Masters Men's 40 Plus Podium. If you're looking for that Masters Men's 40 Plus Podium, we are 60 seconds away from putting those guys up on the blocks.
Let's get started with our Masters Men's 40 plus A podium. Starting with third place today, riding for Omnia Midstream Partners. First up to the podium is Chad Cagle. Second place up next, Super Squadra, presented by Applewood Manor. Welcome to the podium, Philip Wickoff. And your Masters Men's 40 plus winner here on Cry Baby Hill. Top set of the podium for Matt Stevens. Top three on the stage, celebrating on the podium. We will now move to our overall after three days of racing here at the Tulsa Tough, the Omnium Podium. Coming up now, we'll start with third overall after three days, riding for Omnium Midstream Partners. Welcome back to the podium, Chad Cagle, third overall. Second overall, another return podium finisher for Super Squadra. Welcome back, Philip Wickoff. And your men's Omnium winner running for NGCA Elite. Top step to Emil Abraham. Frontier Cat 3 is rolling back through the line here. 17 minutes in, still no split out of this group yet. Had some early attempts, guys trying to get away, but nothing stuck. They are strung out single file. This is a tough one out here today for the Cat 3s.
right, category three is getting down to it. Group still together at the front here, category threes. Taking on water and waiting to launch what they hope will be the winning move here at 10 to go. Riders counting laps, showing 10 to go, 10 laps to go, riders. Riders all together right now flying down the hill, going wide. Curb to curb as they get ready to come through. Coming up on 25 minutes of racing, remember, more importantly, lap cards are up. Riders, you're seeing nine laps to go, nine laps to go. Nobody has been able to escape so far. Looks like Frankie found himself a bell ringer, which means we are ready to throw some cash out to these riders next time they come by. We're going to throw a $100 cash premium. It'll go to the winner of this lap and this lap only. Remember, it has nothing to do with how the riders finish overall. So we'll ring the bell as they come by. And then next time we see them, they're sprinting for the prize here, which is $100 cash. Attention riders, $100 cash premium. $100 cash riders, $100 cash premium. $100 cash on the line next time through. $100 cash premium riders, 100 cash, 100 cash, 100 cash. $100 cash premium to the winner of the next lap. Smith Farm and Garden throwing out 100 bucks. They've been with us all weekend here at the 2024 Tulsa Tough, and they'll throw another premium out to our Category 3s here. Big thank you to Smith Farm and Garden bringing you this $100 cash premium.
That $100 seemed to ignite a fire under Grant Wilkie as he's managed to be able to get away. Try to be able to come around. A big thank you to Haley, my official bell ringer for that $100 preem. As we have our riders coming in. Excellent bell ringing, Haley. Is this is going to be your winner right here. $100 richer as Grant Wilkie picks it up. Now he's going to keep going. Head down, not looking back. The race is on with seven laps to go, riders. Seven to go, one rider up the road. It's be interesting to see if Wilkie continues to try to roll this one, take advantage of the effort that he already did to pick up the $100 preem. Although he's got about 50 hungry guys sitting behind him. Yeah, one of those hungry guys, Brad, is your winner on day number one, Del Rosso, leading him through as they get ready to head up Crybaby Hill. Yeah, Del Rosso been all over the front today. He hasn't gotten away, but he has been omnipresent up there. Hey, Rasan, cross season's not for a little bit. We're still in the road season here. That's Rasan Bahati cutting through on the grass right there. Previous national champion, multi-time national champion. Great seeing him out here doing the race. Racing for that Texas Roadhouse cycling team. Very strong team. And speaking of strong teams, Wilkie trying to be able to stay away as our riders are getting ready to come through. The laps are starting to dwindle down. That means it's one last time of Crybaby Hill. Six laps to go for Grant Wilkie. Help him out, make a little noise. When he gets up to that hill, he's gonna need all the help he can get solo away here. Group of four trying to chase. That was Isaiah Colbreth leading him through, one of our young riders in the race in that second chase group. He doesn't want to get left behind. 16 years old as he's trying to be able to come through. So one rider up the road, a gap of about four seconds. Then we have a chase group of three, another four seconds, and then the main field as they just came through with six laps to go. Look at that hill starting to take its toll. And look at the amount of people. What an incredible image, all part of Tulsa Tough. It's the 18th year of the McElroy River Parks Criterium. McElroy Manufacturing Engineering, a world leader of Tulsa Company since 1954. Our sole leader with five laps to go has been reeled back in, but there's definitely a big split. Seven riders separating themselves. One rider trying to be able to get up there. Five to go, five to go. Head down, get on the back of those guys. That's an excellent job. That is gonna be Maximus McDonald trying to be able to bridge. He races for the bike factory out of Illinois, 23 years old, and he just latched onto the back. So an excellent job by McDonald as he's managed to be able to get up into our leaders. 
Now the question is, are the Chasers going to be able to bring back as they get ready to go up Crybaby Hill? We talked many times about the counterattack, and now is the time to put in the counterattack from the breakaway because that field is coming up so fast, you don't want them to be able to reattach and you got to be able to give yourself a chance. You want to be able to separate yourselves out. If you're a climber, you got to take advantage of the hill. Our previous two days have been dead flat. That has been made for the sprinters. This is the day made for the climbers. Lead rider is going to take us down to four laps to go on the counter. Group all back together, and we hit the reset button right back where we started. These guys can't believe it on the front. Neither can we. We're right there with you. Austin Del Rosso says we had it all. We were away. We had the split, and somehow the other guys just would not work up there. There's no question in my mind Del Rosso was doing the work. We saw what that guy did on Friday. He's not afraid of making big moves, but needed a few more riders with them on this one and just didn't get it. If you lose about four more seconds, you're going to be pulled, so you better keep that hammer down as our, these guys are going to be eliminated. Guys, hope you had a great Tulsa Tough. Thank you very much for coming out. Go, 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 go. Leaders are coming up behind you. Be aware of that. Leaders are coming up behind you. Here we go, little split off the front here. It's gonna take us down to three laps to go on the counter, Riders. Everybody gonna see three laps to go. Now the new attack going from Matthew Richards. No surprise, another strong rider for the Mustangs on the podium yesterday. Looking to double up. It'll be his second win in two days. A little boost in confidence, don't you think? A win yesterday, giving him a big boost of confidence, thinking he can double up, do it two days in a row. They just came through with three laps to go. And then you see Austin Del Rosso leading the field. So this is Saturday's winner trying to attack Friday's winner for the win on Sunday. He looks like he is pedaling almost squares. Just getting over the steeper section of the course. The crowd cheering him on. Of course, they drive from that energy. The more excitement the more noise that the crowd makes the better the riders can ride is they're going to feed off that energy and i got a feeling richards is going to need all the energy he can get if he wants to survive two more laps here
Coming up next is going to be our townie ride, our Williams townie ride. Uh, that's going to be our coming up at 2.15. A big thank you to the Williams companies. leader has been reeled back in with two laps to go for these riders as they get ready to come through. Man, it has been a separation. They drill it back each and every time. Two to go, two to go. On the front right there, that is going to be, that's Isaiah Coldbreath. So Coldbreath hasn't taken home a stage win yet, looking to be able to make it on the Crybaby Hill. The 16-year-old leading the charge. Riders coming down off of Crime Baby Hill right now. Austin Del Rosso back to the front. And real on the group back in. Del Rosso going to have a big old target on his back on this one. Tough place to be at the front. Grant Wilkie back up there. Remember we saw Wilkie on a solo attack earlier. He's come back into the fold. Rod really aggressive up on the front of the field. All right, there is your lead vehicle as we get ready to let these guys know that they'll be down to their last lap of racing. We got the bell ready to go. Let's get that thing ringing as we let our guys know we're down to one lap to go. Last lap of racing, guys. Want to go, want to go, want to go. Last lap for our category threes. Want to go, gentlemen. Want to go, want to go, want to go. Last lap here, guys. Del Rosso on the front with one lap to go. And now, guys starting to attack as they get to the bottom of the hill here on the final lap. The Hail Mary attack for a lot of these guys. They'll put everything they have into trying to get up this hill the last time. Aiden Wyant on the attack now. He's got a few bike lengths up and over the crest. Aiden Wyant, 15 years old, on the attack. That lightweight frame helping him up Crybaby Hill. Excellent job, Presley, our official bell ringer here for our Cat 3s as they are motoring around right here. We're on the final lap. Look at the 15-year-old. Look at him. Head over his shoulder. He's weaving and bobbing all over the place. It's all in right now. This one might pay off for Wyant. Got a nice gap out of that corner. Gonna have an even better gap up and over the hill. Can you imagine as a 15 year old bombing into that final corner? That adrenaline's gonna kick in, he's gonna have to be careful. Doesn't wanna overcook it, that's what he's coming down to right now. He's already gone around, but now this is a race winning turn and he has held it up right. Look at this, the young 15 year old coming in. He will win on the third day of Tulsa Tough. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your stage three winner, Aiden Wyant. Field sprint for second. 
Gonna go to the camera. I think 453 might have got there. We'll check. Might have been a 463. That would be Hofstra for the Skyway, presented by Domestique Coffee Squad. We'll get confirmation and get our top three category three riders up on the blocks coming up as we get ready for the Towning Ride coming up after this. Nice job, riders. That fatigue setting in. Remember, it's the third day of racing. Day number one was very fast. Day number two, faster and hotter. And day number three, finally the legs are starting to give out for many of these riders. But for the young 15-year-old, Aiden Wyant, it's a perfect finish to his Tulsa weekend. A big thank you to St. Francis Tulsa Tough. 18 years of bike racing here. And our final day, the McElroy River Parks Criterium. River Park's an organization with a vision to provide public spaces for outdoor experiences. You know, they have 26 miles of trails, playgrounds, fountains, sculptures all along the banks of the Arkansas River. 